Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna spin up something new. Hopefully you guys like it. I think it's a good channel idea and it's one I can use in perpetuity because I'm sure there are going to be a plethora of questions asked as long as this channel is active. And I'm going to take questions from comments that I think are good and that I think I can answer and make separate videos on them. And that's exactly what I'm doing in this video, which by the way, if you like, hit subscribe, really real, would appreciate it. And uh, today we're gonna talk about a topic that came up with this comment from my video, substring and index of methods in C Sharp. And this person asks, what if there is some duplicate number? And this can also pertain to what if there's a duplicate character in a string? How does index of handle that? And then I came up with my own question, uh, you know, knowing the answer of this, how do we get all of the indices of a character that is a duplicate in a string? And that's what we're going to explore today. So buckle up, uh, sit tight, and I think you guys will learn something if you don't already know this answer. So I have my uh, demo console application here, and I just have a basic string called words, and it says, yo, what's up with you? And then it's console.read, because I plan on writing something out. And let's just do that, console, console, it's <laughs> a new one, dot right line, holy crap, I can't type. And this is gonna be words dot index of, and let's say we wanna get the index of this O right here. So index of the character O. And what this is doing, it's going to return a numeric index of where does the first instance of this character come up. So in our case, y is zero, o is going to be one. And then let's say instead we pass in a character that doesn't exist, it's actually going to return negative one, meaning it doesn't exist in this string. And we'll show that too. But let's just run this with o and make sure it gives us one. And there you go, uh, just as we expected. And But you're saying, well, there's two o's. How come it didn't give us both? It only gives the first instance of that character. And then, like I said, let's put in uh, V because V doesn't exist in here and it's going to give us negative one, meaning it doesn't exist. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, I can zoom, okay. So there's an overload for the index of and you can actually set a starting index, meaning, okay, uh, in our case, let's set it to two. From here on out, what's the first instance of this character? So let's put this back to O and then two and then whatever this is right here, index, I could count, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. Um, that's what it's going to return because we skipped over this one because we started at index two, which is right here. So let's run this and see what index that is. It's 20. Hopefully you can read that. So you might be asking, well, how do we do this all in one kind of step, I guess? Maybe it's some kind of loop and uh, that's exactly what we're gonna use. We're gonna use a while loop that goes through the string and gives us each index of where some character exists. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say int i is equal to zero. Like in good loop fashion, we have to have an integer i. And then I'm going to say while, and then two sets of parentheses, i is going to equal words, man, dot index of. First value is going to be o, we're gonna continue with that. And then we're going to start at position i. And yeah, this looks kind of weird, but I think it'll make sense. So while i, which is gonna to equal to words.index of o, while that's not equal to negative one, meaning that it still exists in the string as we go through it, let's do something. So let's just uh, console write line and let's just write out the index. And then we're going to increment, so i plus plus. So basically we're gonna find the first instance of this character. We're gonna say, oh, here it is. Uh, we're gonna write out the index of that and then we're going to increment. So it's gonna be right here. That's our new starting position. And then we're going to say, what's the next instance? And it's gonna be zero, or not zero, it's gonna be 20. I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know why it's said zero. But we expect it to say one and then on new line 20, right? Because we just did that. 
Uh, yeah, so it gave us 21 and 20, and that's because I kept this. So that might be confusing. Let me comment this out and run this again. Here we go. We have 1 and 20, just like I predicted. Uh, I am a superhuman. I can see into the future. And then, you know, as you can imagine, if we just type in gibberish and throw some O's in there, as we please, uh, we're going to see more indices if we run this again. So here we go. Here's all of the new indices where O exists. And uh, that's basically how you can get all of the indices of where some kind of character uh, exists. And you can do this with numbers too. So if I just type a bunch of numbers, it looks like a lot of ones are in there. So let's put one and run this again. And here's all the indices of where one exists. So you can do this for any kind of character. It can be uh, punctuation, whatever. So hopefully that helped answer somebody's question. I'm sure someone had this question. So um, besides the person that just asked it in the comments. So if you like it, like I said, don't forget to hit subscribe. Really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching.